and gentlemen, welcome to the St. Regis Residences in the beautiful city of Sunny Isles Beach, Florida. I'm Lucien Cofresi, and I'll be here today to give you the details of this beautiful new development. So we are here in this beautiful space, fully decorated by Patricia Anastasiadis. Today, we're gonna see the kitchens, the bathrooms, and we're gonna see the beautiful site with five acres of land in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida. All the residences at St. Regis comes with a completely finished kitchen cabinets. We are working with Molteni kitchen cabinets from Italy and Gaganau appliances. This is pretty much the standard. All the residences comes exactly what you see over here. This is the colors of the cabinets. We are working with the appliances from Gaganau. So in this case, we were using the steamer. So no more microwave. You use the waves of the steamer to warm up the food. You have the warmer that you can warm up the plates before you serve the dinner. And then we also have the oven. Look how beautiful with the rotisseries for the chef. And then for the cooktops, we're working with the Gaganau induction system. All the drawers comes already divided with lighting inside, closes automatic. Something nice about the new construction that we're hiding everything. So we here have the freezer and the refrigerator, touch-up panels from Gaganau, and you have two separate units, very nice sizes. Do you have a refrigerator separate from your freezer? And this will come in your two, three, and four bedrooms and paint houses. Everybody gets the same kind of appliances throughout the property. This is completely finished, ready for you when you move in. Here we have the Gaganau wine cooler. This is a unit that you have with temperatures for the white wines and for the red wines, extra space for that champagne chilling up in the freezer. And this is the standard in all the residences. So this is the way that comes the countertops, something that they're using very deep uh, kitchen sinks. And look how nice you have this to cut the vegetables, put your dishes and you can control. If you need to divide that in two sinks, we can do that too. And then something else that you're gonna notice, you almost don't see the cabinets, everything is invisible, no handles. So when you try to find a dishwasher, it's almost invisible, but that is something nice about new construction. The invisible panels, they are dealing with the Bosch dishwasher, it's one of the most silent in the market, and closes very nicely, and you almost don't see which one is a cabinet and which one is appliances. When you open the cabinets, you're gonna notice that it comes with the light already and this beautiful round top that rounds up the corners and give you more space for your buffet area. Beautiful white marble bathroom. Look at this counter, double sink in the master suite and the texture that they work with this marble in the walls. This is how the master bathroom will come and you're gonna see throughout, it's made from the manufacturer. All the meters will come installed with the light. So you will see that in all the master suites throughout the property. We are now in one of the living rooms of the north corner in the south tower. So this is the size of the typical living room on that model that you have the living room facing the ocean and the bedrooms facing the bay. So this is a 28 by 30 living room with an open kitchen looking towards the ocean, plus that beautiful deep balcony that will take from side to side, all towards the east, towards the beach. And here we are, I'm gonna give you more details about this amazing new development in Sunny Isles Beach. As you can see, we're working with two towers in this property. The first one that is under construction now is the South Tower, which is the wider one in this uh, image. And then next year, we're gonna be working with the North Tower, which is the smaller one with 130 residences or less. 
So in this first phase, which is the South Tower, we're working with 170 residences. And the interesting fact about that is that we start with 190, but we offer in combination. So today people are buying bigger apartments and we are combining units to supply that demand. If you don't make any combinations, the minimum that we're gonna find here will be a two bedrooms with 2,000 square feet. Then we have the three bedrooms, four bedrooms, one per floor, or the paint houses that can go up to the 10,000 square feet when you combine a whole floor. And we can go from the seven all the way to 62. The tower has 62 stories. It's all managed by the St. Regis residences without the hotel concept. So the building is 100% residential. We see here all the swimming pools facing the bay, level six. You have this beautiful sunset deck and you also have the swimming pools facing the ocean. So it's almost like a water park. You have pools on both sides of the property. And something interesting that never have been done before, we are working this property with solar panels throughout the windows of this face of the building towards the west. With the sunset light, all that panels will be collecting energy for the common areas of the property ready for the future, ready for demand of the electric cars in the future in the city of Sunny Ayos. Talking a little bit about the location, and here you can see where we are in relationship to South Beach. We are towards the north of Miami, so we're close to Aventura, Bow Harbor. And when you look into our tower in Sunny Ayos Beach, the city allows us to go 62 story high. When you look into new construction, Bow Harbor Surfside, that they go around 13, 12 floors up to 23 in Bow Harbor. So it allows us to give you a better price per square feet with a better potential of appreciation on the future. If you can buy at a lower price point in a city that is going to the highest port in the market, we still have a lot of to catch up with the prices that the city is selling today on the new construction on the ocean. We are in the beautiful city of the Sunny Isles that allows us to build those glass towers with infinity views of the ocean. And when we see this picture, you can notice that all the swimming pools are facing the ocean. So in this area, you see first floor, the swimming pools on the ocean side, and these are the swimming pools on the bay side. So we have pools on both sides, we're working with the Fortune developers with the Chateau Group. So it's good to know that they are great developers. People are happy with the projects that they sold in the past. They are the same developers of the Ritz Carlton Residences, the Fendi Chateau in Surfside. And now the newest will be the St. Regis here also in Sunny Isles. Architectonica, it's a company from Miami that is doing all the exterior architecture design of this beautiful glass tower. And then we're working with EDSA. It's an American company that is doing the landscaping. And as a Brazilian, I'm very proud to introduce you Patricia Anastasiadis. She's an interior designer from Brazil that will be responsible to doing all the common areas, the six levels of entertainment will be fully finished by Patricia Anastasiadis with beautiful Italian furniture. She's the designer of the Duke Cap in Cap of Antibes, close to Saint Tropez. She did the 57 Ocean here in Miami Beach. And now the branding, it's all about the service. So the St. Regis Residences will be a self-standing alone residence managed by the hotel company. So the St. Regis is a company from New York that starts in the 1900 with the Astor family in the time that people used to travel from Europe with their own butler service. Now this hotel had this tradition of having the teas and afternoons, the champagnes at the sunset, and all the five-star service that you can expect it in a hotel but without the hotel component. It's 100% residential, no in and out of gases, but the same ritual and quality of service that the brand represents. And when, when we're looking towards the swimming pool, you can see we're almost like in a resort. You have all these beautiful 435 feet on the ocean. This is in meters, it's 132. It's a block on the ocean. So you have all the pools and the first level the clubhouse in the center of the tower with two restaurants, kids club, spa, entertainment area, club room, wine cellar. And I'm gonna go through the details of everything that the property has to offer. 
Plus, each tower has separate entrance, separate valet parking. They have their business center, the gym. So certain areas they use between two towers and certain areas it's only for the south or only for the north. So here we're going through the first floor. We start with the beach bar and grill. This is your restaurant that is open only for the residents. So the idea that every morning you have the breakfast included in your maintenance. So your cappuccino, your croissant, it's every day there and part of the services of the residences plus the a la carte service. So your breakfast, lunch, dinner, they'll be changing the menu three times a day. They'll be able to serve you by the pool. You can call in your house. And then you have a separate area for the kids with a kids club, a kids monitor that you can call when you need and pay those service a la carte. So the idea that you do have all the services of the condominium included in your maintenance, plus your a la carte service. So if you want to do couples massage, you want to have some green juices, you want to do your hair. So all those things can be done in the third floor where we have the spa and the gym. So the idea that each tower have their gym separate. And then in the clubhouse, you have the service with the professionals that you're going to get to your hair salon, your barber shop, all the service in the center tower where you see in this picture is the purple structure. So there you have 60 story. When we come up from the uh, Collins Avenue, driving up to the ramp to the fourth floor, you have three sets of valet parking. You have a separate valet parking for the South Tower. You have a separate valet parking for the clubhouse, the restaurant, and then the North Tower also have their own entrance. On the fourth floor, we're going to have a Michelin star restaurant. We don't know the brand yet, but it could be La Goulet, Cipriani, Zuma, something international known that will be open to the public with a separate entrance. That will be for the restaurant on level four. So the idea when you walk into the building, you see this beautiful two-story lobby, all decorated by Patricia Anastasiadis with the Italian furniture, the marble, the dark blue. The inspiration is the Yacht Club of Monaco. Very nautical team, very organic colors. She round up the spaces to create an intimacy. It fills that 10,000 square feet lobby now a little bit more intimate, appropriate to receive your family, your friends, and having this beautiful decorated space that goes throughout from the first floor to the sixth floor with all the options of entertainment space for you and your family. Level five, the Lipsy Club. The Lipsy Club is kind of adult room. You have a beautiful bar in the center of that space, and then you have a special area with a chef's kitchen. You do have your golf simulator, big screen TV for sports. So this is all located on level five in the top of your lobby level, in the top of that Michelin star restaurant that will be open to the public. The only personnel that can come through is the friends and family of the residents. So all these spaces that we've seen through those slides is pretty much a residential area for the residents that they can reserve if they have a special venue or they can use any time of the day. From the level five, we go one floor up to the residence club. This is, will be your party room, your residence lounge. And there is another 6,000 square feet of entertainment space beautiful decorated with Italian furniture, the same consistency that you see with the colors, with the wood, with the beige and dark blue. You do have a gourmet kitchen, so you can call catering company from outside to serve that space. And this is the area that you have that beautiful pool facing the bay. That's your sunset deck. It's almost like a water park. So much water everywhere from the water that you see everywhere in the ocean view to the swimming pools facing the ocean. And all this beautiful sunset deck with more than 400 feet from side to side with pools facing the bay. And something interesting about this development, it is a hotel brand with no hotel component, but you do have guest suites. Those guest suites are like hotel rooms for your family and friends. You only can rent if you have a property in the St. Richard's residences. You pay directly to the condominium. That income stays in the association and something extra that you can use as a resident of this beautiful new development. Looking now a little bit of our kitchen cabinets that we saw in the sales office, all the residences are directly facing the ocean. So the corner residences, they are flow through. You have a balcony facing the ocean. You cross the apartment, you have the bedrooms facing the bay. And it's no obstruction on that bay view. 
We are located in the area that you only have houses across the street from the sand ridges. So always you're going to have no obstruction in your ocean view, no obstruction in your bay view. And this is the balconies. Everybody has a balcony facing the ocean, exactly like you see in this picture. The porcelanato that they're using in the balconies is standard throughout the apartment, throughout the building. This is how all the balconies will be delivered. Looks like teak wood in a boat, but it's no maintenance, all porcelain, and all be that completed with 12 feet deep balcony. And some residences, this is the two bedroom residences. They have about 45 feet from side to side, 15 meters, plus four meters 12 feet deep. This is about a 500 square feet balcony, 50 square meters. And all the residences in the center have directly view of the ocean. And then the corners, you see the bay and the ocean and that flow through plan. Talking a little bit about the floor plans now, we have the maximum four apartments per floor. So when we divide four apartments per floor, We'll have the center residences that will have the balconies facing the ocean. And then we have the corner residences that you have two balconies. So where there you see is the bay, the sunset, Biscayne Bay, west exposure. East exposure, we have here 2,000 square feet in the 5.6 and up, going up to the 6 in the next phase. And then you have the corners. The corners, there are anywhere between 8, 9, 10, 12, 15 million, depend how big and how high this apartment goes. We still can combine a yellow floor plan with a blue floor plan and we make half of a floor, about 5,600 square feet. And then if we don't combine, this corner in the yellow floor plan is about 3,500 square feet plus the balcony. Center 2,000 square feet plus the balconies. The green floor plan that we see here, it's about 3,000 square feet. And then as the building shapes up, it rounds up that structure. We have less apartment per floor. The units start getting a little bit bigger. So in this case, we have a 2,500 square feet on the center, and then you have 4,000 square feet on the corner. And this is, gives us idea what we're gonna find at the North Tower. The North Tower, we didn't launch yet. We're only selling the South Tower. Right now, it's about 80% sold. We're gonna finish the South Tower, and next year, we're gonna launch the North Tower. When we're gonna be talking about the North Tower, it's gonna be pretty much like this. Max, three apartments per floor. We always can do half a floor or a full floor. In the paint houses, we are working with uh, one apartment per floor with a private pool and higher ceilings. Talking about the timeline, we already start construction. Summer of this year, we broke ground. We are finishing this first phase in 2027. The next tower will be done in 2028. They both will be built together. So by the time the South Tower is ready, the restaurant will be ready, the swimming pools will be finished. And then you have one more year to do the finishes inside only of the North Tower. And then we can talk a lot be about the payment structure in this first phase. We talk about 30% when you sign the purchase agreement first year, 10% on the second year. In this case, now in 2023, you're going to be paying 30%, 2024, 10% more, 2025, you pay the last 10%. So that you complete the first 50% during construction, and then you have a 50% balance due at closing, which always can be financed. This is will be done by when the tower is ready, you receive your key with the apartment completely finished. Floors will be installed, kitchen cabinets, bathrooms done. And we also will be working with the closets ready for the secondary bedrooms. So second, third, fourth bedrooms, the closets will be ready. The only thing that you have to think that you need to finish the master uh, closet and the interior designer, the furniture, the curtains, all the details, that is personal choice. Um, talking about the paint houses and this shot, we already sold the top floor paint house. So that two-story paint house on the South Tower is sold but we have the lower paint houses. The lower paint houses, there are 12 foot ceilings, private swimming pool, anywhere between 6,700 up to 7,000, 7,500 square feet. And also in the North Tower, we're gonna have more paint houses as well with higher ceilings and private swimming pool. So here, it concludes our presentation in the St. Regis residences. I'm looking forward to meet you in person 
please contact your agent at a million and up to set up an appointment to meet me in person in your next visit to Miami. Thank you.